Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another reading vlog. It is currently uh, 25 to 1 on the morning of Thursday the 23rd of May 2024. I'm just getting back into the swing of things really because I haven't vlogged for a very long time. So I'm just sort of trying to remember what vlogging looks like really. I'm currently reading... Um, what am I reading? It's by Arthur C. Clarke and it's very good but I can't, I can't for the life of me remember what it's called. Uh, let's see, it is my, well anyway, I, d I don't know, I thought it was called The Last Day or something like that. According to my notes here, it's called The Last Theorem, which I'm pretty sure it isn't. But it's very good, it's uh, Arthur C. Clarke's last book, co-written with Frederick Pohl. Um, and there's a lot of stuff set in Sri Lanka, which is cool, because that's where Arthur C. Clarke was born. There's a sky hook in it, which like, it's like a kind of a space elevator to take things out of Earth. It's actually a real idea, the idea... If you lift stuff out of Earth's atmosphere, then it's much easier for us to launch rockets because they don't need to fight against gravity in the Earth's atmosphere. Um, and basically there's this like alien race that's coming to wipe out everybody on Earth. It's really weird because it's, it's a book of ideas and it's actually got this very human story. It almost... I don't think it needs this bit with the aliens coming really. Like, it just gets mad right at the end for no apparent reason. Um, but yes, most of it is basically just following this guy's this guy's life um, and his family and all of this stuff. He also gets captured by pirates. It's, it's mad. It is actually mad. Is it the last theorem? I guess it is the last theorem. It is about um, Fermat's theorem, to be fair. Fermat's whatever it is. Yeah, it's it's the last theorem. So yeah, it was pretty good, it had, um, it's kind of again, it's the, the biography of this one guy from Sri Lanka basically, um, it it kind of, the, there is plot happening, but it's slow and weird, but I enjoyed it. So I'm going to finish reading that and then I've got the first of um, Andrzej Sukowski's historical fiction trilogy, uh, I don't know when it's set or much about it or even what it's called, I can't remember, but it's a big old thick book like this. So I got that. Uh, I'm currently listening to the audiobook of Nicholas Nickleby by Charles Dickens, or as this narrator keeps saying, Nicholas Nickleby. Uh, I wonder if I've got, a f I might have an audio sample here that I can play you of him saying it. Because I've got the LibriVox version where it's narrated for, it's done by, by volunteers. Is this the same guy? Let's see. Chapter 53. No, it's not. Okay, hang on, hang on. It's this guy. Listen. Chapter 52 of Nicholas Nickleby. It's not Nicholas Nickleby. He also said pints instead of pints. I mean, because it's LibriVox, they're all royalty free and people narrate these for free, kind of in their spare time. Uh, I'm guessing this guy is, is trying to kind of improve his English. Um, not trying to be racist, judging by the accent or anything. Just the fact that he said Nickleby and pints. Especially the title of the book, you'd think you'd get the title of the book right. It'd be like reading Sherlock Holmes and saying, Sherlock Holmes. But anyway, uh, that's alright, and then after that I'm going to go for, uh, what is it, the Pro A Promised Land by Barack Obama. Um, so that'll be my next audio book. Just cracking on with cracking on. Uh, here's Biggie, he says hello. And yeah, trying to get a little bit of work done. It's not super busy at the moment, I'm actually very stressed about money. But it is what it is. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go and do a little bit more editing and maybe shove some stuff on eBay. Dane Reads. Greetings people. It is um, just gone midnight on Friday the 24th of May. Um, I have a little bit of a sore throat, but it could be worse because Shay is literally, she's gone, she's been taken to hospital in an ambulance because her breathing's been real bad. Um, she thought she had the flu. It's possible it's COVID because she's, she said she hasn't been able to taste much. Um, I tried to do a COVID test myself earlier, but it came back like just null, like neither positive or negative, which is annoying. I do have these antiseptic throat lozenges, which I've been been sucking upon um, because my throat isn't isn't the best, as you can probably hear. Um, but I'm still doing the usual stuff, still working. I haven't done my workout for today, so I'm probably going to go on the exercise bike in a little bit, and that will allow me to finish the book I'm reading, the Arthur C. Clarke, The Last Theorem, and then after that I have um, the the first, in, I think it's called the Hussite Trilogy by um, Andrzej Sukowski. I've also been listening to some more of my audiobook of Nicholas Nickleby, or Nicholas Nickleby, if you believe the narrator. Um, I'm chapter 56 of 65, so get in there with that. Um, 
and I'm just doing a bit more filming and whatnot to uh, to catch up with things. So that's that's where I'm at. Hello, it's me. Um, I have my hair tucked behind my ear for a very specific reason. I was eating spaghetti. I made spaghetti for dinner, and apparently I can't be trusted with spaghetti if my hair isn't behind my ear because it would just go everywhere. So yes. I have very little to update you on. I'm still not feeling 100% great. Um, Shay went to the hospital last night, but is back now. They've diagnosed her with a chest infection. Um, she's going to be coming and staying here tomorrow night. Um, I woke up with a really bad sore throat and, and barely slept last night. Um, <clears throat> I don't know how, how well it's going. See, the thing is, is it's park run tomorrow, and I don't want to miss it because I only miss literally the first day of the year. Um, so I would like to go to do park run if possible, and then... Um, yeah, I'm supposed to be doing a virtual half marathon on Sunday, which could be tricky because, again, sore throat and tricky breathing, but we'll see. Maybe it'll make me feel better as well because I, I do often feel better after a run. So, yeah, that's the plan. I haven't done any more reading. I have listened to a ton more of my audiobook of, uh, what is it? What am I listening to? Nicholas Nickleby. Uh, I'm on chapter 61 of 65 now, so I'll finish that over the next few days. And I'm just settling down for some productivity. Might go on the exercise bike in a bit. We'll see. So, yes, that's where I'm at. Hello, hello. It is um, 25 past 11 on Sunday the 26th of May 2024. I am uh, standing in me, me running gear because I went for a run earlier um, to do the cat protection, uh, what's it called, Miles for Moggies um, online challenge basically or virtual challenge. So you could choose lengths from 5k, 10k, half marathon, full marathon. So I did the half marathon. Um, while I was there, I found some um, like a little free bookshop, which was nice. Well, I say there, I was just running through the countryside, found some new routes, got lost a few times, and uh, got some stuff to make curry on the way back, so I'm cooking for Shay in a little bit. Um, so that was nice, took me a little longer than I was expecting, but um, it's because I'm still worn out from the night before. Shay's still feeling a bit rough, she's currently in the bedroom um, watching The Simpsons, and are you playing Sims again? No. What are you playing? Uh, okay, so she's currently on Instagram browsing. Um, I'll give you a little book update and then I'll probably keep this vlog going until the end of next weekend. Um, next weekend, Shay is off to um, a family event. Um, I, ha I have been invited, but I am supposed to be going to Tamworth to see my mum. Um, so yes, there's that happening, assuming that either of us is well enough, because at the moment I'm okay, but I'm not 100% and Shay's pretty sick. So fingers crossed we get better soon. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much the plan and I'll, I'll keep it going until then. I finished reading The Last Theorem by Arthur C. Clarke and Frederick Pohl, which I gave probably like a 4 out of 5 to. It's got some mixed reviews online. Um, it's it's Clarke's last book that he wrote. Um, and obviously he wrote it with, with Paul. But basically the, the weird thing about this, like, it's almost two books in one because it follows the life of this Sri Lankan scientist and researcher. The whole thing about the last theorem is that he's trying to um, uh, crack Fermat's last theorem. And um, yeah, that's like the main plot is following this guy. Like he, he literally gets abducted by pirates at one point. But while all this is happening, there is some sci-fi going on in that there's like an alien race that's gonna come to Earth. And then that kind of all just gets wrapped up in the last 50, 75 pages. Um, and I don't think that was really necessary. It was more, would have been more interesting without that stuff. But still, it, it was pretty good. The, uh, I seem to be one of the few people who actually enjoyed that. Um, then while I was on the, on, the, on the old exercise bike reading that, I uh, read in one sitting, The Day the Screens Went Blank by Danny Wallace. This is just middle grade about... I don't think it's ever actually explained in it, but basically all computer screens go blank. Um, and this family kind of, you know, it's, it's typical modern family where they're all over relying on their iPad parenting and things. Um, and they realize, oh, we should go and check in on grandma because she might not be doing very well. The problem is, is like the screens are blank. So they haven't got a GPS. They can't call her. They don't know her number. Her number was saved on their phone, but the, the, the phone's dead. Um, and they get into all sorts of hijinks along the way and they kind of discover eventually maybe they don't need the screens after all. So I thought that was quite cute. I gave that a four out of five. Um, enjoyable stuff. And then I started reading um, A Life with Footnotes, uh, which is the Rob Wilkins biography of Terry Pratchett, the authorised biography of Pratchett. He's one of my favourite authors of all time. So you can bet that I'm enjoying it, but I'm not very far in it. I also finished reading... 
what was it that I finished reading? It was the audiobook of my latest Dickens. Um, Nicholas Nickleby, that's it. Finished reading that. That was probably like a 3.5 out of 5. I'll be honest, I didn't pay that much attention to it. So, <laughs> so if you ask me what it's about, all I can tell you is, well, it's about Nicholas Nickleby. Someone hangs themselves, I believe, at the end as well. So that was nice. Like it was one of the one of those one of those where not much happened. Then at the end, everything kind of all happened. Um, but yeah, some interesting stuff about like you know Victorian society and all of that. And so I've just started reading my next audiobook, which is A Promised Land by uh, Barack Obama, which is a big old chunker. But it's nice because it's narrated by him. Um, and it's weird as well because I not too long ago I listened to Michelle Obama's book Becoming, which was narrated by her. And, and there's a lot of overlap. Like they're talking about the same events. So it's kind of cool to see the two different perspectives, but also I, I think those two books were both being written at the same time. So I wonder how much they were like bouncing ideas off of each other. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. So that's where I'm at, and I will love you and leave you, and I'll catch up with you in a bit. All right, I made the curry I promised for Shay, and that's the garlic bread. That's the curry recipe from inside me head. How is it, Shay? Good. Hello everybody, oh I'm in the, okay there's light now. It is currently 25 past 7 on Monday the 27th of May, 2025. Shay is here, say hi Shay. Hi. Hi. Still not feeling very well are you? No, I'm dying. Mm. But she has, for the first time in quite a while, made it into like sitting up at a normal people chair. Wow. And she's currently doing some colouring in. Um, I am just, there we go. Can you see it? Yeah. Very cute. I am just trying to be productive and cracking on with cracking on. Um, the house is a goddamn tip, so I've got to like do a lot of tidying, but I'm working on it. And we're gonna have um, chili later, vegan chili con carne with um, fucking Remember? no Scotch bonnets or habaneros. I can't remember which ones I got. Anyway, I got some spicy chili peppers, so it's gonna be very spicy. And yes, yeah, Shay's gonna have some naan bread. Um, and she's got some curry over there that's getting cold. It's still really hot. Ah, uh, is it? I think. Okay. Let me try some. Yeah, try some. Um, no more reading done. I might do some more on the exercise bike later if I get a chance. And then I'm back to hectic work as of tomorrow. And I need to do some work today as well. Hello everybody. It is, um, what is it? Monday the 3rd of June at quarter past 11 in the evening. Um, I came back early this weekend. I didn't vlog while I was away, I meant to. Uh, I've been uh, cracking on with my uh, run 5k every day in June. I actually did 10k today. I, read, I ran from Tamworth to Litchfield and then met my mum there. We went around the charity shops and I caught the train home, so that was nice. Uh, yeah, I travelled travelled up on the, the Friday. My new running shoes were there, so I went for a run as soon as I arrived, pretty much. Um, went via my dad's house. Um, took it easy that evening, didn't sleep too well. Saturday morning my mum took me to Conkers Park Run which is like out in the countryside so that was a really nice one to do and um, did that and then went to uh, out in Swaddling Coat, uh, which is where my grandparents live so met them, went for a Weatherspoons breakfast, met up with my grandparents, moved around the charity shop so that was nice uh, and then had an early night because I was shattered as I am today. On Sunday, my mum's uh, boyfriend Al came round. We had a barbecue, um, so that was good. I went for my run first thing that morning and um, went to Tamworth Castle. Then, yeah, another early night. And as I say, I'm back now. Uh, Reading-wise, I finished reading A Life with Footnotes by Terry Pratchett, five out of five. Sorry, A Life with Footnotes by Rob Wilkins, a biography of Terry Pratchett, five out of five, but it was difficult to read, especially towards the end when he was struggling with Alzheimer's um, and like the bits about his death and stuff. Like I. I very nearly burst into tears on the train, but I just about managed to, to not. Um, and then I started reading The Day of Creation by J.G. Ballard, which I'm only a little way into it so far, but basically it's, so far it's centering on this guy in Africa who's gone to try and bring water, well he's a doctor, and he's gone in search of water, basically. Um, it doesn't help that this doesn't have a, a blurb, so like I've got into it not really knowing what the book is about, but it's, you know, it's good. Um, Lots of things to haul, which I have mostly filmed. I've got some editing to do. My work's kind of dried up, but in part because I was working over most of the weekend. So um, I've kind of done most of the work that I had. Um, tomorrow, Shay and I are going to watch Challengers at the cinema. 
um, so there is that to look forward to and I'll do obviously tomorrow's run as part of my 5k every day that's about it uh, as I say I've run out of work so that's pretty alarming because I also don't have any money I have a couple of phone calls to make tomorrow um, that's about it I've got a few clients as well who are like saying they're gonna send me something soon but it's like please send me something now so I can anyway you know you know it is what it is and in the meantime I'm gonna shove some stuff on eBay but that seems like a good place to end this week's vlog so as always thanks a lot for watching don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so what you thought of them hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video hit that subscribe button for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video thanks a lot bye bye